بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى author of the Quran has ordered us to follow the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and every Muslim I think every Muslim would agree to that not everyone who associates himself with Islam because there are those groups which are outside of the fold of Islam who believe like some of the Quraniyun some of the extreme ones who say that they only have to follow the Quran and that mean and and they basically negate the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam then someone like this we don't even consider them have to consider them amongst the muslims to even d- to deal with them because they've negated the Quran so in fact they don't even believe in the Quran because here's what the Quran says here's what Allah Rabbil Alameen, the one who created the heavens and the earth, the one who created all this beautiful creation, the one who gave us life and will cause us to die, the one who will return to, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here's what he said, tabarak wa ta'ala. Qala Allah ta'ala fi kitabi al-kareem, wa ma atakum al-rasoolu fakhuduhu wa ma naha, wa ma nahakum anhu fantahu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem. So this is from the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that whatever the messenger came with, accept it, take it. And whatever he prohibited you from, then avoid it. Letting us know that if someone follows the Quran, they must follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because in the Quran, it orders us to follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We understand the Quran from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's how we understand the Quran. The Sunnah explains the Quran. A Sunnah Yufasar al Quran. The Sunnah of who? Muhammad ibn Abdullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Allah orders to follow the Messenger to, t- to accept whatever He came with and leave whatever He prohibited us from. Letting us know that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a legislator. That his commands were revelation from Allah. Allah is the, re- the, the one who legislates. The hukum is lillah. In al hukum lillah. But part of that legislation, it comes through the tongue of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his actions, alayhi salatu wasalam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran for those who have doubt about following Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem Ya ayyu al-ladhina amanu la taqaddamu bayna yaday Allah wa rasooli wa attaqu allaha inna allaha sami'un alim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O you who believe so he's addressing the believers if you're a believer Allah is addressing you O you who believe do not Put yourself forward over the commands of Allah and His Messenger وسلم, or before Allah and His Messenger and fear Allah. Verily, Allah is all hearing and all, all wise. He knows everything. All, all, all hearing and, he sees, and he, hears, he sees and hears everything and His knowledge encompasses everything. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ladina amanu Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu wa wa'atiyu rasul All throughout the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that O you who believe Follow Allah or Obey Allah and obey His Messenger Alayhi salatu wasalam That's what we've been ordered to do That is the What the believers do So Then it brings to mind How much are we following the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we all have our shortcomings that's for sure and we have different levels of iman and different levels of obedience to Allah some people during the day and the night they're reading the Quran and they're reminding themselves and their families and the believers they're busying themselves with khair and da'wah Allah some people 
are less than that. Some people, they're only concerned with themselves, but they, they're doing a lot of acts of obedience. Some people are less than that. They're not so much concerned with themselves and they do a lot of sins, but they're still from Ahl Iman. And they still follow what they can of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then there's people less than that even. The point is to be from Ahl Iman and strive your best to be of those who are closest to Allah based on knowledge and based on following the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.